Hello everyone. Let us see how to combine clipping mask with different brushes in Photoshop to get stunning effects. So let us start. Let us select an A3 size landscape document and uh, we'll give it a name clipping mask right and we can select inches here and then we'll create a landscape document then we'll first change the background to change the background uh, we'll give it a gradient so we can give it a creamy color gradient a creamy color as well as um, a light orange color and we'll uh, select a radial gradient and uh, we'll make sure that the dark color is at the center right something like this then we'll get the image so i have saved some images inside a folder so i will se select this uh, girls image this beautiful girls image and then i will just uh, drag it inside this document and let us scale this image let's make it big right so once we have scaled it so all we have to do is let's create an empty layer in between the background layer as well as this girls layer so uh, we'll select this background layer and above the background layer we'll create an empty layer so this is an empty layer now the important step we have to select this girls layer and then we will make it into a clipping mask so how to make it into a clipping mask so all you have to do is simply hold alt on your keyboard hold alt on your keyboard and then just click in between the girls layer and the layer below it so once you see a down pointing arrow just click on it that's it so our first task is completed now we have to select a different type of brushes so where we can find brushes so simply select the brush and uh, some of the interesting brushes I have downloaded but first we will try to use the brushes that are already available in Photoshop that already inbuilt in Photoshop so we'll select a, a, a natural brush so just uh, we have to select the natural brush so here we have natural brushes so just uh, here it is so we'll select this natural brush and then make sure that the empty layer is active And then we can simply use black as the foreground color and then we can simply just paint like this so we can use this natural brush but in case uh, this natural brush is not so attractive we will try with some other brushes So we have a, a flower brush here there is a flower brush so we will just increase the size of the brush make sure that the foreground color is black and we will start painting so we can see the effect 
so we will just reduce the size of the brush and then uh, we can simply paint so it looks attractive and we can also slightly increase the size of the brush right to make it more interesting we can apply an inner shadow to this brush stroke simply double click on this empty layer and then let's apply inner shadow to it so now it looks more attractive we'll try the combination of some more brushes so let me actually uh, delete it so we can simply delete the layer and then we will create uh, again uh, an empty layer in between the girls uh, layer as well as the background layer and again we will make the girls layer as a clipping mask right and uh, there are some brushes which I have downloaded from brusheasy.com so we can use those brushes so for example uh, here we have a brush that is a paint splash brush so we can see the effect of it so make sure that uh, the empty layer is active so we can see here and also we will uh, increase the size of the image right and to make it more interesting oh sorry uh, to make it more interesting we will just apply inner shadow to it right and uh, we can check the combination of one more brush so again uh, we'll just go back by few steps So here we have this powder brushes so we'll see the effect so we can see so this is uh, very much uh, useful for album designing so we can uh, get different different combinations make sure that the image size is a little bit big so now we can try to check the effect and again we will apply an inner shadow to make it more interesting right so we'll also try with uh, other images so what I'll do is uh, here I have selected a, a fancy background uh, there is some design over here I will select uh, one more image we'll select this girl's image and we'll simply drag this girl inside this over this image we'll scale it down right so again we will create an empty layer in between the girls layer and the background so just click on the create new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel right and don't forget this step select the girls layer and hold all down your keyboard and click in between the in between two layers the girls layer and the empty layer right and then let's select the brush and uh, we'll select uh, some more brushes here so here we have a brush let's reduce the size and we can also rotate it and uh, make sure that the empty layer is active and uh, simply we can just paint on this empty layer so we can see the change and just apply an inner shadow to this layer to enhance the effect 
and we can also uh, try to play with these uh, inner shadow settings so we can actually um, reduce the distance increase the size a little bit and we can also increase the opacity here to make the shadow a little bit dark so you can do a lot of uh, combinations you can use uh, different different combinations over here right so this is one nice interesting uh, effect that we can use for album designings and we'll try with uh, one more image I have selected this image now what we'll do is before making it into a clipping mask we are going to create a gradient fill layer below this active layer so uh, simply go to the adjustment options at the bottom of the layers panel and select this gradient option so this gradient fill dialog appears and we will select uh, a simple uh, reddish gradient so we can use uh, a dark red and light red and uh, here we will also change the opacity setting right and then we will drag this gradient fill below this girls layer right and now we will create a layer above this gradient fill layer an empty layer and again we will make it into a clipping mask so simply hold alt on your keyboard and then click in between the girls layer and the empty layer right now we will again select a brush and uh, we can select uh, these brushes these brushes are available in uh, brusheasy.com and I will give you the link for these brushes in the description so simply we will select the empty layer and then we'll just create a paint stroke so something like this We can also rotate the brush simply by holding shift and right or left arrow keys so something like this and to make it more interesting we can apply an inner shadow to this brush just double click on the empty layer and uh, just uh, select the inner shadow right so we can uh, just change these settings we can increase the distance if you want right so this is how we can create a clipping mask and also combine it with different brushes so one last thing we'll do uh, we will actually download a brush from brusheasy.com and then try to uh, use it over here so let us see uh, how we can download brush and install the brush inside Photoshop so first let's go to this website which is brusheasy.com and here we can find plenty of brushes in this search box we'll just type paint splatter and we'll search so here we can find a uh, paint splatter brushes plenty of uh, plain splatter uh, splatter brushes are there so here one interesting brush is there so let us download it so we can uh, just ignore this message simply click so here this brush is now downloading so now this brush is downloaded so we will save this uh, zip file inside our folder and then we will extract the brush over here so we have extracted the brush 
the brush is inside this uh, folder and uh, see the extension of the brush is ABR so it is an ABR file Adobe brush file so to get this brush inside the Photoshop all we have to do is simply double click on this ABR file that's it so we will get the brush inside the Photoshop so if you want to check whether the brush is inside this brushes panel or not we just have to scroll down uh, and we can find uh, the paint uh, splash brush over here so here we got this uh, brush inside this uh, brushes panel so we can select this brush and there are different uh, types of this brush actually we, there are different uh, varieties of this brush so we can try uh, one of the varieties so what we'll do is simply we will just click see here so we got some interesting uh, effect so we'll also try to reduce the size of the brush and uh, you'll see so something like this right and you can combine uh, this uh, brush with another brush so let's uh, check uh, another brush here we have some powder brushes we can actually reduce the size and uh, we can see uh, we can check a uh, different combinations here right um, we'll try uh, one more brush here we have this uh, blood splatter brushes even this brush uh, I have downloaded from brusheasy.com so something like this right uh, we'll check one more so here blood spill brush is there right so we can combine we can combine with different brushes but make sure that you keep this empty layer active and uh, to enhance this effect we will also use inner shadow so see here we got some interesting result right So this is how we can combine clipping mask and different brushes and get some stunning interesting effects in Photoshop. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please do subscribe, like, share and if you have anything to say do comment. See you again.